this is going to be a very prophetic month, really. And I'm going to pray parts of that prophetic word and others that I will be giving. But I want to read a part of what Dutch gave yesterday, just a brief part of it before we pray, because I feel like, I feel like it's time to see this accelerate. Here's a part of that word. And by the way, you can go back to December the 3rd and watch the whole thing if you want to. Here's the word, Holy Spirit said, evangelists are rising on college campuses. And I believe a part of what we saw happen at Harvard, that answer to prayer, is a part of the preparation that we see for something that is happening 2024 on college campuses. Evangelists are rising on college campuses. They will preach and declare the word of Almighty God. The passionate ones will be powerfully anointed. And I will confirm my word with signs, wonders, and miracles on the college campuses. For I have a harvest to reach, says the Lord. I will put the breaker anointing upon young men and women, and they will walk the campuses declaring, this is the way, walk in it. And they will do so with my drawing, convicting power upon their words. The conviction of my presence and my kingdom that uh, is now rising will invade college campuses. And I will reach into the hearts of those who are bound, those who are lost and drifting with aimless mindsets. Wow, is that a picture of our colleges today? Aimless mindsets. And I will draw them to their purpose. For I say to you, deep will call to deep within them. I will call to the deepest parts of their nature. I will call to the dreams and the purpose I have put inside of them before they were born, which have been buried by lies and by the enemy's deceptions. Now says the Lord, the anointing that breaks those yokes will be released and revival will roll throughout college campuses. It continues, great prophets will rise and you will begin to hear prophetic words coming from university campuses. You will understand that this is a day like no other. I said my young men would see visions and I meant it. I said my handmaids will receive the power and ministry of the Holy Spirit to declare what I say, and I meant it. I said your old men would dream dreams and that I would fill all flesh with my spirit, and I meant it. And so we're gonna decree and pray this tonight because I believe this is a word in its moment 2024 is a time when it is to begin. And so agree with me tonight, exercise your faith, pray as Holy Spirit gives uh, you the ability and understanding of what to pray about. If you don't know how to pray something, pray it in the language of the Holy Spirit in other tongues. Lord, tonight we are thankful for what you have done and are doing. And we thank you for the promise of this year. We thank you for victories that we have won. And we thank you for victories that we are going to win. And we pray God that on our college campuses, you will pour out your spirit. Let the evangelists, those young fiery evangelists rise and proclaim the word of the Lord. 
I pray God for miracles to start happening in campuses and all around this nation and, and world and that signs and wonders would be done in the name of Jesus. I pray God that you would cause passionate warriors anointed by you to rise and declare the truth and see you confirm that word with great power. You said, Lord, there is a harvest to be reached there. And we declare the harvest will be reaped. And uh, on that generation that has been so, uh, so attacked and disillusioned, truth come, truth prevail and set them free. Anoint young men and women with the breaker anointing of King Jesus to break that yoke of disillusionment off of them so that indeed they begin to hear this is the way, walk in it. You're going the wrong way and lovingly draw and convict them to the right way, Lord, we pray. May the aimless mindsets be interrupted by truth that sets them free and draw them back to the original purpose that you had in mind for their lives and their being. May revival roll throughout those campuses. We pray God that young prophets would rise to begin to declare prophetic words. And may we hear prophecies coming forth from universities all around the United States and world of those young prophets rising with fire in their bones to declare, this is the word of the Lord, hear it. To prophesy like Jeremiah, to prophesy like Isaiah, to prophesy like those in scripture that declared your word. May that fire begin to rise inside of them. We pray God that those young men would see visions and our young ladies, Lord, be anointed, the handmaidens anointed to see the dreams and plans of, of our God. Indeed, Lord, we're asking that you pour out your spirit on those campuses. You said this was the year when it would begin to accelerate and roll uh, throughout the land and it would go into other universities and other nations. We believe your word and we are decreeing, let it be in Jesus' name. We bind anti-Semitism in our nation. We bind it on college campuses. Thank you for the victory of removing leaders that are standing against Israel. Well, we're asking that you remove more of them and we're asking you to replace it with the truth. May the truth make us free. Lord, we know this is an election year and there's a lot of weight on this, on this year. And they're asking that you would intervene in these elections and that you would cause to rise up those that have your heart, those that will not follow the agenda of darkness. Lord, we bind that woke agenda, that that spirit of Baal agenda in our nation that causes doctrines of, of demons to be observed. We bind that in Jesus name. And we declare, let the righteous rule come to authority and rule in Jesus name. Those that would desire to steal an election, we bind their efforts in Jesus name when we ask that you would expose it Expo expose all corruption, Lord. We thank you for what you have done and will do and are doing. But we ask you, Lord, that it would accelerate. Get rid of the corruption in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for favor upon those in Ohio that are standing for uh, this transgender bill to be passed. We ask that you would give it such favor that it, would, that it would override governor, uh, our governor's veto in Jesus' name and that his stand against you and your word 
would not succeed. We bind all of his efforts in the name of King Jesus. We pray for the Supreme Court to act and rule in favor of uh, fair elections and those that have the right to be on the ballot and for us to have the right to vote our conscience. We pray, Lord, against the border crisis situation that our cries would come up in such a way before you, Lord, that those that have the guts will make a stand and say that is enough. We know that evil has allowed um, our, our borders to be so porous that terrorists have come in. And we know, Lord, our FBI has said, government leaders have said, we are in danger. Terrorist cells are operating. But we're asking that you would expose that, that you would protect us from that, and that you would stop this insanity in Jesus' name. And we ask God that it would happen quickly. May our laws be enforced and may our cities be free from this kind of disruption. And may our economy free, be free from this kind of corruption. Lord, we're asking that this would be a year when your word and the prophetic words that you have given us will come to pass in accelerated ways. Asking you, Lord, that February the 2nd, uh, this, the prophetic summit, that you would come, that you would be here in this place, and that as we worship you and praise you and ask that your will be revealed, that you would reveal it, speak a very clear word of strategy. Speak to us clearly through the prophets. Speak to us, God, the plans that you have in mind for us. We ask, God, that, that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will prevail in this room and that these words will go forth to inspire the greatest move of Holy Spirit in history. That's what you said, Lord. You said we can move into that and may we do so. I'm asking you to put it up upon people's hearts to come and be a part of this, to, that they would fast and pray and that they would stir up their faith for this night when we share with the world what we believe Holy Spirit is saying. We ask God for angels to patrol this atmosphere, this portal, and may it be an open heaven in Jesus' name. May our King ride the praises that night and speak to us clearly. Pray God for praise, uh, prayer teams to be stirred in their heart to come and be a part, pastors also. And Lord, all who have a heart to pray, come and be a part. And those that can't, may their hearts be prepared wherever they will be watching or listening to receive the word of the Lord and activate their faith with ours. And so we commit the summit to you in Jesus' name. Amen. And here are our, our decrees tonight. We decree that America has reconnected to its covenant roots and has proceeded into a God-ordained season of reset. We decree that we are in days of change and angel armies are activated to assist with God's purpose, his prophesied promise of U-turns, turnarounds and boomerang strategies, and hell will not stop it. We decree, decree a glorious remnant is rising. This remnant will mobilize angel armies with their decrees and I'll say much more about that this coming Sunday morning. And uh, I did begin last Sunday with some of this. This remnant will mobilize angel armies with their decrees, utilizing Isaiah 55, 11, declaring 
that the words that come out of our mouth will not come back or out of God's mouth will not come back empty. They'll do the work I sent them to do, he said, and they'll complete the assignment I gave them. Assignments on a prophetic words are coming to pass in 2024 as never before. We decree we are in days of awakening and revival. We align with heaven today and ask for an acceleration of anointing, an acceleration of outpourings assisted by angel armies. We decree America will be saved and we stand for all nations to participate as well. We decree it is time for the great campaign of King Jesus. In the earth realm. And it's time for it now. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for decreeing and praying with me tonight. Continue to pray. And remember the fasting starts Sunday. Check the decrees. And let's be faithful prayer warriors. Talk to you more Sunday morning.